Gorgeous people, this is Ambazar's DIY and other stuff. My name is Amber Meeks, and in today's video, I have some super fun Valentine themed geeky DIYs. Guys, I'm super excited for this video. This is so right up my alley, and I love how everything turned out. And I want to send a huge shout out to the Heroes Tower for providing a lot of the things that you're going to see in this video. For those of you who are not familiar with the Heroes Tower, it is a geeky subscription box that you can get on Cratejoy. I have a link in the description box below. All right, guys, let's Let's get started on these super fun DIYs. Okay guys, for this first DIY, I'm gonna rework that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle tree that I had for Christmas. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing, guys. I just have some additional stickers that I got from the Heroes Tower. They provided pretty much everything that you're gonna see for the DIYs in this video. So I'm just gonna do the exact same process, but I just wanted to refresh your memory. I just took the sticker, stuck it on some cardstock, and then I stuck the little stick underneath where the sticker is, and then cut it out, and that's pretty much all I did for the little stick things for this DIY. <laughs> Okay, guys, now that that's done, I have this bow topper that I already made for the other trees. So what I'm going to do is take the clothespin hangy thingamabobber that I have for it, and I'm going to add it to this pink bow that I already have made just to make it look a little bit more Valentine and appropriate for this tree. <laughs> Okay guys, so now I have these felt hearts that I got from the Dollar Tree last year. And I'm gonna take these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pins and I'm just gonna add them to the hearts to make some additional ornaments for the tree. Okay, now that that's done, I have these three trees that I got from the Dollar Tree. They're the white ones, and I just, you know, took all the bottom parts off of them and all that kind of stuff. So now I'm just going to zip tie the trees together. I'm using white zip ties because I have a white tree. So once I zip tie them into place, I'm just going to go ahead and um, cut off my excess, and then I'm going to add that third tree. I just thought three trees would look a little bit more full and better, so that's why I decided to do it this way. Okay, guys, now that the trees are connected together, I have my Donatello bowl that I got from the Heroes Tower. I've already put some styrofoam in there, so I'm just going to plop those trees down into the styrofoam that I've already added to the bowl. Gonna fluff them out a little bit, and then we're ready to decorate. So I have my little bow here, and then I'm just going to randomly add the picks and some other stuff to the tree to get it all ready to roll. Okay, guys, I rearranged some stuff a little bit, but here's my final tree. I love the way that it turned out. I think it looks very Valentine and very geeky. I think it is awesome, and I can't wait to do the same thing for St. Patrick's Day and Easter. Looking forward to decorating this tree year-round. <laughs> Okay, guys, for this next DIY, I have this Batman Valentine kit that I got in a mystery box, and I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be so great for my Valentine decor. So anyways, I pull out the contents, and I have some Batman stickers, super cute, and then I have this little box thing about Bobber and the Valentines. So my first thought is to take this box thing, and we're going to make a Valentine mailbox. So I just, you know, assemble it the way that it's supposed to be assembled to kind of get the idea of what the shape is going to look like. Like in the shape, don't think I really need to do much with that, so now we're going to move on to the next step. So I have this little, I don't know, this is supposed to be like a lo decorative log thing that I got from Walmart. They came three in a pack and they were tied together and they looked really Christmassy, but I think this will make a great post for my little mailbox. So I have this little round wood piece that's flat so that I can make it stand up and I'm just flooding it with some hot glue. Then I'm going to add some additional hot glue just to make sure that it's in place. And then the stand is ready to roll. 
Now that I have that done, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to kind of mark where I need to cut out to make a circle hole to put this little pole into the box here. So you have to understand the box isn't completely secured down. So as I'm cutting, I realize that's a problem. <laughs> so I end up grabbing some scotch tape and I end up taping down that inside part so that it stops moving so that I can go ahead and finish sort of cutting the circle out to put the uh, pole into the bottom of this and uh, just get get everything nice and secure. So to get it secure, what I'm gonna do is add some duct tape to the bottom of the pole just to make sure that everything stays in place and this ends up working magnificently because this is a very lightweight cardstock type thing. <laughs> Okay, everything's looking pretty good so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these carnation flowers that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to push the leaves to the top of the little flowers here and then cut them off where I think that it will work to stick these into this mailbox. So now we're ready to decorate, guys. I'm just gonna start sticking the flowers in the top of the mailbox and then I'm going to add a bow to it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much gonna be what's gonna finish up this DIY. <laughs> Okay, guys, I do end up attaching the bow a little bit better with some hot glue, but what I wanna show you here is that I have a Valentine's scarf that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna add that to the bottom of this display so that you can't see the mess that holds it together. And here it is, guys. I love the way that it turned out. I'm gonna show you from each and every single angle, front, back, and sides, and I think that this one turned out super cute. Okay guys, so for this next DIY, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Valentines that I got in that same kit and I'm just going to obviously tear them apart so that I have each of the individual Valentines. And what I wanna do with these, I think that they would make a great garland, but I wanna beef them up a little bit because you can see the perforations, they look like little kid Valentines. I just wanna beef them up a little bit more. So to do that, I'm going to use this, um, what is this, like bling wrap that you can get at the Dollar Tree. This top one I got from Jeans Junk and I absolutely love this stuff, guys. She's the one that sent this to me and then I started using it and think it's absolutely awesome and now I use it on like everything. So what I'm gonna do is cut the, cut them out and trim the, um, like outline the edges of the Valentines with this just to give it a little bit more bling and make them look a little bit uh, more high end, so to speak, for my uh, garland. <laughs> So now that I have that part pretty much done, I have this Valentine's Day decorative ribbon. It's like a felt heart ribbon that I got from Walmart last year, and I'm gonna use that as the base for my garland. So what I'm gonna do is place one of the Valentines in place here, and then I'm gonna add one of the little Batman stickers in between, and that's gonna be pretty much the way that I assemble this garland. I'm going to attach everything with hot glue. Guys, this is so super easy, but it looks so incredibly cute when it's done. Now 
I wanted to mention that the little stickers didn't stay in place, so I ended up adding some Fabri-Tac glue to the back of the stickers to keep those in place so that they didn't come off. And after I did all that, guys, here's my garland. Can you see it? <laughs> this is part of my geeky area, guys. It's still not ready yet, but the garland is hanging right here. I'm gonna zoom in on it. I love how it turned out. I think it is so incredibly cute. Let's go ahead and jump into my final thought. Okay guys, I really love how all of the DIYs turned out for this video, and they're definitely something that you will not find in store, so it's just an easy way to get your geek on for this Valentine's Day. And again, I'll have another video coming up um, within the next few weeks with some more fun, geeky Valentine DIYs, because I wanna use the rest of those Valentine cards that you guys saw in that packet. And I just wanna say one more time, guys, if you are not familiar with the Heroes Tower, please make sure that you guys check them out. They are on Crate Joy, and I'll have a link in the description box below. All right, guys, that's all I got for you in this video, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye! You guys know how much I love my subscription box, The Heroes Tower. A huge shout out to them for sending, or no, hold on. <laughs> I want to send a huge shout out to The Heroes Tower for sending pretty much everything that you're going to see in this video <laughs> for, oh, uh, not everything. My name is Amber Meeks, and in today's video, I have some super fun... Ooh, I forgot. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm so super happy with all of the DIY... Oh, ba -ba. Hold on. <laughs> and they're definitely not anything that you can find in the stores. If you want to decorate, get your geek on for the holidays. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs>